<laughs> so here, if you see, based on the same example, if we have an expression like this, A plus A, multiplication B minus C plus B minus C, multiplication D, okay? You have the pro grammar production rule. You have the semantic rules here, okay? We have the semantic rules here. Now, if I ask you to first generate a parse tree, then from the parse tree, you generate uh, you generate uh, the corresponding. What can I say? <laughs> no, use this yeah on the parse tree. So for this, you generate a parse tree. Okay. On this parse tree, you use the uh, semantic rules. And from there, you can generate syntax tree. Okay. So this is the story we need to. <laughs> so function, no, leaf function. We have two function here. One is called leaf, another is called node. Okay, this is node function. Sorry, this is node function, and uh, this is leaf function. Okay, what they does create a fresh node. Okay, create a fresh node each time they were called. Okay, before creating a new node, these function first check whether an identical node already exists. Right. So every time this leap function and node function are going to be called, they generate a new node definitely. But before generating a new node, it checks that whether all there exist previously there exist some identical node. If it is there, then if previously created identical node exist, the existing node is written. Okay, then no new node will not be created. When this similar node will not be created. Instead, it it will return the existing node. Okay. Now, if I give you this expression, okay, <laughs> what can be a possible, uh, you know, uh, syntax tree for this, right? So, this grammar is actually not enough for this. Uh, then some of the rules are needed to be added here. E to E multiplication T need to be added because you know multiplication operation are there here and here. Okay, so this is uh, need to be added here. This uh, these are not uh, uh, there in this. Okay, uh, oh, in this in this production in this uh, production and uh, semantic rules. Okay, so simple things. Uh, so one new rule should be there. That is E to E multiplication T which will have a semantic rule like, sorry, e dot node equal to new node Opera operator will be multiplication, then e dot node is a left operand and t dot, sorry. So then we can go for construction of the parse tree. So how we can do it? <laughs> First, you just uh, try to construct the parse tree, which uh, can be like this: e two um, e plus t, right? And then uh, in this uh, way, we can uh, go with uh, uh, E to E multiplication T, right? And with this uh, T, uh, okay. And then with this T, we can have this opening bracket, closing bracket, and E, okay? From this E, we can get again uh, E plus. Okay, and from here we can again have 
uh, e multiplication t okay now this um, e can give us t this t can give us id which uh, can be entry for a this t can uh, uh, t can directly become id here so that uh, can also be entry for another a okay then this e can be can give us uh, what uh, e minus e minus t right then this e can be t t can be id and which can be you can now what was this b this can be id this id can be c okay and this e here you can see um, it can be t it, then this t can be in bracket e okay bracket close this e can give us the same thing e minus t this e can give us t t t can become become id and this id can become b okay and this t can become simply id which can be c okay and multiplication d is there so this t can be id and this can become d so you can see this is a <coughs> no, sorry parse tree okay this is a parse tree for this given expression using the grammar now on this grammar if i use the semantic rules right what semantic rules i have shown you just uh, in the previous slide if i use them then what will happen we can we have you know um, you have uh, e dot node equal to e dot node plus t dot node right so basically dot node to dot n i'm just writing dot n instead of uh, node dot node dot node dot node right so everywhere we have a e or t we just uh, call dot node function right and if they are leaf we will uh, call dot leaf function right so what will happen <coughs> if you start from the beginning mm, this dot nodes will just create a structure like this right what opera operation is there first plus operation and it will just create two pointer one pointer to its uh, no, left child another pointer to its right child okay which will again have three parts okay here if you see this is the left child this e dot node here which is having a operator multiplications so multiplication will come here and it will have you know, two pointer one to its left child and to another it is to its right child okay and again here it is uh, sorry yeah here it is multiplication multiplication operation will come here okay and uh, once the um, you know, pointer to the left child and another pointer to the right child so in this way thing will process and once this you will have this what will happen what is missing here you can see all these nodes are converted into you know <laughs> operators right operators and these operators are have two pointer uh, pointing to its left operand and right operand simple thing and these grammar symbols e t and all id everything is missing here in this right so this is becomes our syntax tree okay